nombre es Delfino Vila Nájera. Tengo 38 años. This is Delfino and he is um, 38 years old. 38 años. Y Juana? Bueno, yo me llamo Juana María González. Tengo 37. So this is Juana, his wife and she's 37 years old. Y um, el hombre que vive aquí también. Mi papá se llama Gerardo González Ibarra, tiene 69 años. And her dad Gerardo is 69 years old and you saw him in the footage inside. Sí, y Eva, ¿verdad? Eva María, yo soy Eva María Ojeda Aguilar, tengo 58 años. And this is Eva, she's 58 years old. Y Perla, ¿verdad? Tienes 8 años. Me llamo Perla Rubí, Ávila González, tengo 8 años. Gracias. And this is Perla, and she's 8 years old. ¿Cómo te llamas? Sí, yo me llamo Jesús Aliana Ávila González y tengo 4 años. Bien. And this is Jesús, and he's 4 years old. Pues tenemos necesidad porque aquí en el cuartito donde vivimos, este cada vez que llueve todo se transmina, el techo ya está deteriorado y la verdad no tenemos los recursos. Y este como mi papá está es discapacitado, él para entrar al cuarto está muy bajito y al momento de subir todo se lastima su cadera, está lastimado de su cadera y este y como les compré el termito ese y no tengo yo los recursos para hacerles un cuartito, es por eso que me enteré de el pastor y Lolita, de que ellos traen bendición aquí donde nosotros vivimos, por eso andamos en busca de un cuartito, sí. que gracias a ellos pues, ayudan mucho. So she said they need they need a new home because the little one room that they're living in uh, has a deteriorated deteriorated roof, and water and rain always comes in. She said, and also her father who is um, disabled can't come out of the room that he's in, and that situation is that room is lower than the ground here. And she said it hurts his back to even bend over to get in and then also to get out of that area. So they need a more level place that he can come and go um, easier inside and outside of the house. So this just the poor condition of what they're living in and also just the situation with him and the struggles he has. There's also six of them. Um, so this will provide more space too. They purchased land right next to the area that we're standing in and that's gonna be where they put the new home. Es una gran bendición, una alegría, gracias, alegría, un gusto de tener donde estar viviendo cómodo, ¿verdad? Este, uh -huh. Y pues sí estamos bien como quiera, pero ya está este tiempo y estamos temiendo que si el agua o algo y pues sí. dejan nos dar lo que ellos pueden, ¿verdad? Sí. Y pues con gusto la recibimos. La recibimos. Con, con gracias gusto. A y gracias también y a todos los donadores, donadores a Lolita, sí, a a al pastor. Igual que Dios nos siga bendiciendo, ¿verdad? Para seguir apoyando a la gente que necesitamos. Uh, they just said it'd be a great blessing to have a new home. They used three different words for uh, happiness. So they said they would just be really happy to receive a new home. And they said, thank you so much to Pastor Arturo and his wife Lola to be able to provide this application for them and provide them this blessing. And they said, thank you to everyone who's been a part of this and that God would just bless you and keep blessing you as you bless other people as well. Mi nombre es Arturo Hernández Escobar y soy pastor de la Iglesia Vida Nueva por 30 años aquí en Ciudad Juárez. So this is Pastor Arturo Hernández Escobar, and he's been the pastor for 30 years of the church Vida Nueva, New Life Church, here in, in the city of Aurora. They have a great need. There's an enfermo, a discapacitado, and the actual conditions of the house are very bad. The roof is wet, it's cold, it's cold, and they need a house. 
So he chose this family because of their great need. The home that they're living in has the deteriorated roof and the water and the rain always comes in. And also it's very cold in the winter and it gets below freezing here. And it's also very hot in the summer when it's over 100. Uh, so just the condition, the poor living conditions that they're living in shows their need for a new home. Primero que ellos puedan ver el amor de Cristo, que Dios les ama y que ellos también pueden eh, mirar hacia Dios, buscar las cosas de Dios, acercarse a la iglesia, congregarse y lo más importante también que ellos puedan tener una mejor calidad de vida, que puedan vivir más cómodos, donde la persona discapacitada tenga una mejor calidad de vida. So he hopes that as a result of this build, this family would be able to understand God's love for them and Christ's love for them, that they would be part of a church somewhere and consistently attend a church. Um, this is a, an outreach um, to this family in this way. And also that they would live more comfortably, that their disabled father would be able to live more comfortably in his situation 